I'm a pro streamer. All right. Now, uh, let's let's sing the intro song. Uh, like we rehearsed. Uh, remind me how that goes again. Uh, mm, Ooh. I did not put that much thought into <laughs> this gag. Okay. Well, anyway, as you can see, we have a stream cam now. It's kind of slow. It's about zero FPS, I would say. Um, we'll see how long that stays up before it gets annoying. Uh, wait, what? Well, I mean, it will block part of the screen. Oh, you can't make it smaller? I could, but it would still block part of the screen since the game takes up the whole screen. Oh, it's fine. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I forgot this map is the one I was on. Yep, map 13, downtown. Oh. The sort of infamous oh, city map. Oh, I don't want it. Um, well, you got it. And don't worry, there's only a few more maps like this. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Guys, get away from me. Come on. Are they going to come after me now? Oh, well, they can't. They're on a ledge. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, I think, so, Sandy Peterson, because it's always Sandy Peterson, just decided, hey, what if I make a map that's just a bunch of buildings outside instead of the inside of some kind of base or something? Uh, and I think John Romero, like, got mad, like, fake mad, or Carmack, whoever. Someone got mad because, uh, now the engine was drawing things five miles away. That's hilarious. But it turns out the engine's pretty good at doing that. And then, like, all the other mappers were like, I, I want to make one of these, too. This seems pretty cool. Uh, but it's kind of funny because uh, the basic idea of this map is, yet again, Sandy has has a little idea and puts it in a box. <laughs> and then the map uh. is, there's some boxes. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh. Oh, yeah, like I mentioned last time, that little alleys on the right that just kind of end nowhere used to be docks. Um, oh, yeah. In the beta so version, which that. is pretty cool. This What's thing, that? That's invulnerability. Why do I want that? Ah! That's why. It only lasts I have 30 or 60 seconds, I can't remember. Oh, you got so many shells. Alright, go kill a bunch of men while you still got this thing. Preferably the largest of men. Oh, that did not last very long. I feel spooked. Yeah, I hate those fuckers. Those just like terrified me as a child. All these fucking football players. God oh. damn it. Hey, you know, it would be pretty good as a football player if you could shoot a football that homed in on a target, like the goal. I think that would that would change the game. Oh my so god, much. there's so many dudes. They're slightly spooky. Don't do that. Nice. Plasma is like plasma for me in this game is like potions in Pokemon. <laughs> is it? I will end the game with 10,000 plasma that I've never used. Except there's a limit on how much you can get. So, so I, what you're saying is... I basically only use it when I already see some ammo that I can't pick up. And I'm like, I guess I'll shoot somebody. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Yeah, fuck that guy. I, I love the sort of variable height, like, little jail cells, too, because they really... Uh, like, this map does a good job. This was the map that made me believe, for real, that Doom could do room over room, which it cannot. But there's a place where just the inside of a building is so, like, fucking intricate. What is this? Uh, it makes you partially invisible, which kind of sucks. What honestly. do you use it for? Um, getting hit more. Oh. Oh! What? <laughs> Surprise! That was very dastardly. I hear pig guys. No, that's those dudes. What? They yeah, sound like pig guys. Help. I can't do it. Sort of a little, little snarl with a, their nose has something going on. Some mm. kind of seasonal allergy or... Mm. I love it. It's just the most doom sound to me. It's some imps 
somewhere else, just kind of looking for you and going, I can't, I can't even pretend to do it. Okay, you found the closet where they keep the spare imps. Nice. Oh, how handy. Uh, um, okay. Oh, hey. Yeah, okay. Where's that coming from? From those dudes right there. Where, in here? Yeah, they're kind of wiggling. Why so, can't they come down? Uh, because monsters don't jump off ledges. Well, probably that's a good move. So, some, some cool weapon lore. Um... The super shotgun just kind of, you could you, you shoot it into a wall to see this, but it shoots just kind of a circle of shots just kind of everywhere. Um, the single shotgun is kind of nicer for stuff far away because it, ah. sh it shoots everything in a line. Oh. Uh, so you can't miss above or below with it. It still has some spread, so it's not yeah. great for a distance. To yeah, chain gun's pretty good for stuff far away. I can't tell what's what. That's your hand. That's a chainsaw. Pistol. Shotgun. Is this the regular? Yeah. Is this the one that you were talking about? Yeah. That's uh three. Well, three twice. Hey, that's a bad sound. <laughs> oh yeah, so the thing about partial invisibility is it just sort of adds a random miss angle uh to basically every enemy attack this um, looks suspicious as hell hmm uh oh i love the ceiling what a weird ceiling oh i can't believe you saw through fuck, sandy's fuck, elegant fuck, trap fuck dude didn't see through it enough oh well well um oops cool don't worry there's health in this map probably Somewhere. Motherfuck. Oh, I know a secret that has some stuff. Where? Uh, go along the, the back here. I think it's right in the middle there. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's health or it might just be a mega armor, which would still be nice. Yeah. That's secret. Hey, Twigs. Yeah, this is the point in the game where I start not knowing the secrets quite as well, because for some reason I just have memories of playing like the same first five maps over and over. For some reason. Yeah, I don't know. I got very spooked by a game, even though even though when I was like 11, I played on God Mode all the time. Oh yeah, that's what extra spooked me about the game, is I was in God Mode on the last map, and I died. And what? It, it felt like the game had killed me for real. Well, that must be true. <laughs> yeah, you can see where the pellets hit on the wall. Oh, um, yeah. This is such a goofy setup. And it's kind of just arbitrary, which, uh... Oh, time to save my game. Cool ass. That's me. Cool sucker. Oops. Well... I didn't do it good this time. No. I did it pretty bad, actually. Yeah. Oh, Twigs, don't kick it. Right, I forgot to push E. Nice. Oh, maybe that other door doesn't open what for me. What is that thing I got? Auto map. You can now see the whole map on the map. Not just the parts you've been to. What map? <laughs> hit tab. There's a map. What? Oh, just hit it once. Map? What the heck? Did I forget to mention, there's a map. Well, you may have slipped your mind. This is also the map with the giant arrow on the I floor. I love the giant arrow. Where'd that guy come from? I don't know. Hey, where's these fuckers coming from? I don't know, I saw an imp wandering around too. Hmm. It's a sandy map, stuff just occurs. Events occur. And then you do them. In an order. Mm-hmm. Oh, there is a berserk pack, but it's behind a bunch of lost souls. It's down in the little alley next to you. Yeah. It will release some things. What? 
Nice. I love when they just get mad at each other. It's two just two faces okay, that's on fire. Pretty hilarious. Yeah, like mm, mm, no, mom said I can have the DVD player. <laughs> Is that... It's my turn with the Game Boy. <laughs> oh, I Fuck. got shot in the face. How do I go over there? Well, if someone hadn't stolen my jump key, I know how I'd do it. Well, it's a good thing I stole your jump key. Oh, that's it. Okay. So you're just admitting to being a thief now. Well, technically the game thinks you're playing as me. So I stole it from myself. Alright. Fucking fancy pants. Uh, this is the 18th crate maze of the game. Why is there so many? Because they're awesome. What? Where do you come from? Cool. Get him. Yeah. Uh, shoot him. And their faces. Well, that is usually how I shoot him. They are basically 90% face. Oh, a secret detected. But I don't, what? I don't know what it does. The. Oh. That's I forgot about that. Oh. Uh, but I think maybe that um, those crates, the little ones. Is? No, behind. The, uh, yeah, there's like a. Um, there's a what? Go back around behind him where that door was. We hit the, oh, it looks like there's. Oh yeah, there you go. Where's the planet? I think there's a teleporter. I don't know where it goes. Where is that? Uh, the stairs are there. Cool. Oh, this is right above the Okay, the start. twigs. Why? Why? Oh, you can run over there. Oh, I totally forgot that's how you did that. Nice. Very cool. Twigs, please. Should you... Should you... Should we turn off the cam? <laughs> um, are people yelling that? No. But it's ridiculous. <laughs> But still accurate. That face is basically how I feel right now. <laughs> just talking about Doom. Hey guys, look at all the Doom things I know. I'm a cool Doom girl. <laughs> Hi Twigs. Twigs is here. He's just kind of looking at me. Um, yeah, he super is. This is the spot, by the way. Kind of this building. The one that made me believe Doom was 3D. It's, it's less impressive than I remember as an awestruck child, but there's just kind of a lot of little twisty things, and it feels like rooms are above each other, and Twigs keeps walking between my face and the mic. Why is... what's all... what's down here? Is there something good? Uh... I, Death? Well, one of these directions is important, but I don't remember which. Okay. Oh, this looks promising. This is, this is where the charge and chucks were. Oh. Oh. Well. Fucking. Good start. Come on. Now you have to go all the way back. This is not. This is not the right place. No, that's the giant arrow. Yeah, yeah. With the red brick I'm going looking. To the right. This way. Yeah, red brick. Giant and arrow. Brick. <sighs> Why is there dudes? Here. There's, there's just dudes everywhere. That's the cool thing about Doom, is that there's just kind of ambient dudes, instead of like, sorry, our dudes have too many polygons, we can only show one on screen at a time. <laughs> so we just have to make a lot of hallways, and then there's one dude, and then more hallways again. Doom just has like, guys wandering around, and like, I don't know, I always found it impressive the way they sort of meet out the amount oh, no. of dudes coming at you. That was the uh, large man. I don't like the large man. <laughs> the large man. Uh -huh. I love that. And you have your choice of two teleporters or no teleporters. Well, I had to get stuff. Okay, this one. Yeah, there's a lot of just decisions in this. Fuck off! Where the fuck is this? 
assholes. Oh, nice. Oh. You're full on everything. Very good. What the fuck did I get out of here? Uh, the, I think that's the door texture. Ha ha ha. Nice fucking strafing. Thanks. Where the hell was I again? Fucking um, brick house again. Yeah. It's only like seven other directions to try. I found the key too. Oh yeah, so you could do that one. God, uh, which even one was that? I think that was the teleporter. Sure was, wasn't it? Yeah. I love this very tall elevator. Just so there can be very tall drops. <laughs> what? Fuck off! Oh. I got bamboozled! You didn't. I told you it was the teleporter. And then I no, forgot. No, I, I wanted said that. to know what that, like, what was over there. Oh, yeah, I knew one of those things would drop down into that totally useless room. What you're saying is you are a fiend. No, no, that's mostly the the dudes you're shooting. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, this map also has like the dumbest room in the game, which is behind the red door. I love this. It's just all these. It's just a weird sort of puzzle box thing. All you're really doing is a little quick quick key hunt. True. I like that about Sandy Peterson maps though, like, there's just a lot of extra stuff to go check out. Like, he really does build them like D&D maps. Mmm. Wait, which one's it? Hold teleporter, on. Hold teleporter, on. teleporter, teleporter. One? That thing. Teleporter. Okay, teleporter. I did it. Don't fall. I thought I just came here. Uh, did you stay on the ledge? There you go. Oh. I love this free invulnerability for fighting, like, or lost souls. I love this. This map is considered like so easy by today's standards, and it has like four invulnerabilities just kind of lying around. What? Wow, you did it. What was the point of that? You found the secret. That in, wasn't a secret. That was a button. In case you somehow made it this far in the game without getting the chainsaw. Who would do that? Or if you're if you're doing pistol start. Cool. That's the red key. And some rocket. Cool. Great. Now you can go Crap. through the red door. No, I wanted to land on that ledge! There's nothing there, it's just one guy. There is a bullet or something. Where's the red door? Um, I think it's that one of those checkerboard buildings. Not checkerboard, grid thing. That one, right there. This is the dumbest room in the game. Well, that means I need to save. That doesn't, doesn't really. Check out this lift. Also, imagine doing this without being able to look up. What? Is that a thing? Oh, yeah, in the original game, you could not look up or down. What? Yeah, it was, it was because the way the renderer works, like, uh, only can draw vertical lines, so you couldn't look up or down because that would make perspective. Which it would not be able to draw. Later, like, Hexen added sort of a, a stretching effect that you, that you look up and down a little. But this is OpenGL, so you can look wherever you want. Well, only I could jump. It was actually really weird the first time I used uh, this, because I've always used software as you do. Um, and I immediately realized that, like, lines rotated when I looked up now. And it was so bizarre to me, because I was so used to the stretchy thing. Uh, so how do you do this room when, like, you can't look up? Um, you you just kind of shoot around. Uh, the original game also, if, if you were aiming horizontally at an enemy, it would automatically aim up or down for you. So as long as there was there was someone lined up with the, the middle of the screen, you would be able to shoot them. Um, so you just sort of aim around the room at stuff you couldn't quite see. Ah. <laughs> or you'd take the lift and sort of try and dodge. What was that thing again? That was a box of bullets. Oh, did you get it? 
Uh, Timmy in chat asks if you could look up or down in Strife, and I assume so, because that was the latest iteration, but I'm not actually sure which other engine Strife was based on. Anyway, you can do Yellow Door now. I'm looking for it. I don't remember where it is. It's it's somewhere off nowhere. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah. Oh, there's backpacks. How do I get up there? No idea. It's probably like three teleporters. Three berserks in this map, at least. What are you going there for? I don't remember where any of the secrets are. Well, offhand. At this point in the game, it's kind of hard to keep like a mental list in them. Oh, I guess you're not a true doom expert. Damn it. <laughs> oh, another blue door. Okay, that's kind of cute. If you just go there because you're looking through unlocked doors, then you run into a key or a lock thing. Whoa. Oh. Oh, there was a fake wall on it with a different texture. That's cute. Hmm. What was this one again? Oh yeah, Duke Nukem 3D, you could look up or down. Although I think it did the same stretch thing as, as Hexen. Um, oh, it's BFG. I think that's probably a secret. What is that? It's the, the big gun. Ah! Oops. Ah! Uh, but, yeah, the default controls for Duke Nukem were like, you pressed page up and page down to look up and down. Ew. Like you're playing a fucking flight sim. Jeez. He was. Oh yeah, the uh, the lift in the red key room, I think, stopped when it was almost at the bottom. And I think that's just because there's, uh, like, a line near the entrance where where you walk in, it starts to go down. But there's also one um, where if you move too far away from it, it stops. And so it was probably just something like that. And then you got close again and finished. So where's that teleporter where the key walls go? I don't think you ever took that one. This one? Yeah. Good question. Hey, why isn't the cool- What the- This is stupid. This is the beginning. Oh, I got fucking tricked. Uh, why isn't the cool S in Unicode? Hmm. I want question. a code point actually called cool S. <laughs> I want to be able to type cool S. <laughs> I would love that. I should get the ball rolling on that. Just write a formal proposal. <laughs> you can change the world. Yeah. Proposal. Cool S. Cool S, please. Like, examples of existing usage. Everywhere. Every, every fifth grade locker in existence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It literally was fifth grade when we learned about that. That's, that's like, just the most fifth grade thing of all time. Oh, hey, guys. God. Look at this. Whoa, what is it? It's I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cool S. Look, guys, look what I did with these lines. Oh my god. You're amazing. Crap, where the heck am I going? Uh, you, are you trying to exit? What are you trying to do? I don't remember. Yeah, yellow door. It was on, it was on a, a grid building. A grid building? Yeah. Back in here. Yeah, like one of the, the office building texture. This? In the office and all. Yeah, like right there. Right there. Right there. But. Yeah. But you came in here. That's the exit. That? That's why it says exit everywhere. But that's lava. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, oh. How am I supposed to know it's the exit? You just blew my fucking mind. Well, it does say exit on the wall four times. You just blew <laughs> my mind. Of course, all the exits so far have been switches. Why would you suddenly walk into lava? That doesn't make sense, Sandy. It never occurred to me how ridiculous that is. I don't know. I said exit, but I thought I was like, oh, there's a door here. Oh, there's not a leaf. Uh, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that, that just looked like a weird trap. Well, where's the fucking exit then? Wow. Yeah, the exits start getting a little weird. This is this is technically like episode two, like the sky changed. Um, and 
and now it the, like the mood is a little different now it's kind of like city places instead of in a techie base although the the city theme starts to disintegrate near the end but this is the map with the most lines in it it is the most detailed map in the game really made by american mcgee um also very brown um uh, but i don't know a lot of a lot of folks like this map and have made like tributes to it also if you like look at it in an editor it's really small but just the way a lot of stuff like crosses over and gives you like partial access in other places makes it feel gigantic um like there's this whole like water moat around the whole building which has like ramparts and stuff uh and you you can jump off the stairs and get into there and then you can you can use the little like turret chain gun guy that's a secret the lamp you can use the like uh chain gun guy platforms to like escape into the adjacent area moat and like look around and that's all really cool it feels it feels like you're you're like sequence breaking the map like it's totally intentional of course but i don't know i just love fucking oh i know you like that yeah it's really cool fuck I love how the chain gun guys, like, you shoot them with a bullet and they just break apart into three pieces. Oh, yeah. Like, they're made of toast. <laughs> Are you shooting a lot of toast? No, I don't know. Like, they're meatballs. I don't know. What falls apart like that? Nothing. <laughs> toast? I guess toast does. Okay, where's the bad guys? Somewhere. Uh, in this map, there's, there's several doors that are opened... Um, by switches inside like a tiny like like the red key door it's not actually a door you have to like open a little guard house with the red key and press a button in there and I think it's just because uh, the game had like a limited set of combinations of what what switches and stuff can do um, and what? why did that close uh, this door is like ah! it's automatic it's when you walk near it Oh crap, this area fucking sucks, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of guys. Just kind of guys happening. What the fuck was I just saying? I don't know, I got very spooked. Oh yeah, anyway, the, the red key things are over there, and the game doesn't have a, a switch type for red key required to lower floor or something. So they just sort of cheated and put a regular switch inside of red key room. Anyway, I think there's actually a, a weird physics bug with that room where you can hit the switch from the outside through the wall if you're exactly aligned with it so you're Whoa. like to the side of the switch and i know part of why that works but i don't know why you can hit anything through a wall i think you have to like exactly align yourself with a vertex or something so maybe that's why but i it bothers me that i can't explain that oh i bet it does and i know like far too many things that, oh there's a red key about uh, the fucking Doom engine. Is this the same music as Waste Tunnels or somewhere we've heard before? Um, super. Can't remember. A lot of the tracks are used twice. I think one or two of them are used three times. I'm not actually sure how many unique tracks there are in the Doom soundtrack. Guys, no fighting. Cats, please stop. Guys, no fighting. This map is called the Inmost Dens, which is. Ah! A very cool what happened? name. There's a guy at the end there. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you can make a sweet jump. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, nice. okay. But yeah, there's a lot of like kind of curved windows using just broken up lines like that in this lamp. And uh, I don't know. I guess he just felt like doing that. Nice. Phew! Job well done. Crap. Nice. 
And yeah, this feels like sneaky. Like, why should you do that? I just did a weird jump out a window. Obviously, it is intended, but it feels like whoever built this building, like, within the fiction, um, did not intend this. Oh man, Timmy said, there's nothing I hate more than programs that change the gamma of my entire computer because they will crash and then I will be stuck on that gamma. Oh. I have had that happen so many times. Hey, how do I get out of here? Um, that, that, yeah. That texture usually means, um, does something or is the bottom of a teleporter. You can go out the other side. Oh, the other okay. yeah. It's got like a little notch taken out of the top. I didn't notice that. What is that for? Uh, how did we do that? Oh, okay, that was here. How did we do what? The, the, I, was, I forgot how we got to that other place, but it's here. I like that they sort of mark it off with these torches, too. It's like just a hint that, hey, you get here by doing this. Also, look over here. What was that thing? Uh, that was 100 plasma. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Oh, and a plasma gun. That's a red key? Why it's red. Oh, is this the first skull key we've seen? There's there's key cards and skull keys, and there's also textures for marking uh, uh, like skulls versus just sort of the stripe thing. Um, that's not a. That's not a. And no, you have to do something else elsewhere. Back near the beginning. Um. Yeah, there's so so it seems like key cards and skull keys are completely different things. But they're not. They're both just the red key, blue key, yellow key. Um, in in Boom, which was when some editors and what like, happened? There was a, a chain gunner very far away. But uh, yeah, the source code for this game was released in like ninety seven, eight. And do I really have to go back and do that? Uh, no. What? The other oh, one? No, I think there was another, a blue thing there too, so you can't do it yet. Uh, anyway, yeah, like, the Doom Source code was released in 97, 98 or something, which is cool. Uh, and then some some mappers who, who made third-party maps um, released their own, like, enhancement that fixed a lot of bugs. Crap, crap, holy crap. Oh, man, an arch file. Save, maybe. Um, and they added some editing stuff, and, and one of those things was uh, to make doors that specifically require either the... Um, a card or or a skull and also to make doors that need like all three keys or all six keys which was kind of cool so because because you couldn't if you wanted to have like a lot of fucking, crap <laughs> if you want to have a lot of fucking locked doors in a big map there's only three keys like because you can't use skull what if i use this and cards that might be good I don't know how to use this good. It is hard, actually. Um, okay, do you want to know how it works? This is going to be a whole paragraph. Sure. Okay, so it shoots the big old ball. Mm -hmm. uh, and when that hits something, it also shoots out like 40 invisible rays from you, wherever you happen to be at that moment, in the direction the ball was moving. And then when those rays hit stuff, they do extra damage. So, unfortunately, if you shoot it and then run away so that you can't see the monsters anymore, you will probably lose out on most of the damage from the gun. That's how people, uh, that's how people kill cyber demons in like one shot, is they get right up in their faces um, so that all of the invisible tracers will hit the cyber demon because they, they oh. spread out in like an even, sort of evenly in a fan in front of you. Mm -hmm. So if you're right in front of something, all of them will hit. Yikes. Hmm, got some help. Cool. I'm always interested by the, uh, the choice of which keys to use in a map. I think there's actually some mapper. Maybe it's Sandy or something? 
Oh, yeah, Are you this, fucking kidding me? This is a cool spot. You can come here like way early and there's just red bars so you can't get all the way through. But yeah, there's just like peaks and stuff. I don't like that. I forget what I was just saying. Fuck. Nice. I, and I love in this one, you have to go in the moat and like sneak in the back. Like the fucking like cargo entrance. What do they call that? Uh, delivery. It's not delivery. It's four deliveries, but it's called the something else entrance. Honestly, I don't know. Great entrance. Well, what the heck is the point of this place? Uh, well, you got the blue key. Wait, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, so key colors. Uh, I think there's some mapper who specifically used, like, yellow for the exit every time or something. Which you can't really tell because the game doesn't tell you Is who made Is this not the right way to go? I don't remember. I think you have to come here eventually. I love this sort of conversion uh, between the, the sort of rounded pillars and the straight edges. That's the worst sound in the whole fucking game. Just a big old mad brain on legs. Yeah. I think they actually made that sprite by literally shrinking the spider mastermind one. But we haven't even seen a spider mastermind yet. Yep, don't know what that is. We also haven't seen a Baron of Hell. Um oh no, we've seen we've seen them in Tricks and Traps. Dang it. Hmm. It might be the only enemy we haven't seen. Oh, well, the shoot stuffle. Which I hope we'll see. Okay, okay. Where the heck am I going? I totally don't remember. I have no idea. There are some places where it is not obvious how to get out of the moat. And I guess this is one of them. But yeah, like, look at the map real quick. Uh, yeah, like, this feels so intricate, but it's just like four little sort of spaces, each with a single room in it. Mm -hmm. Some cat antics happening. Oh, maybe jump across there, because remember that thing that had the bars before? There? No, the, the little bridge. Oh, right, right. The green torches. Oh, idiots. Did you, did you hit a blue thing yet? No. Where's the blue thing? Crap. Oh, Damn it. I don't know, actually. I just want to get out of here. Um, the the next one. Oh wait, no, the next one over. I think because there's that little ledge you can jump onto. The little that one. Bit sticking out. Yeah. I want to kill a spider guy. Well, I don't know how you let uh that that guy out. It was through here, right? That was where the key was. Or was that the other way? Fuck! I think you can... I think that will drop down, actually. What? I think so, because otherwise you'd be stuck here. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, and there's just a blue door. I thought it was blue beams. But, uh, yeah, this is like the most intricate architecture in the game. Just this fucking bizarre window. Why? Just because, uh, they mostly made big old chunky stuff. Why can't I go in there? Um, because you can't go in there. I think you might be able to sneak in behind. Why can't I crouch and shit? Somehow. If I jumped in there, will I ever get it? No, I don't think so. I think it's just the, the back way in. Like, this is just the same. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, really? You can't. Oh no, I think you're supposed to jump that. Well, fuck. Fool! Now you have to go all the way back around. I can't believe this game. I said, well, I regret this. I've been tricked. Sorry, I thought you could get those shotguns. <laughs> the... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. The... It's rare that the game like gives you a dude who drops a shotgun and you can't. 
get the shotgun. But this might be one of the times. Unless you can go around. The edge outside here. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, there's a secret in here. Yeah. Is there a way to get on the other side? That wasn't even a secret. There's no secrets in this map. Whoa. Okay, I guess you can't go on the other side. And you have full shelves. Oh, oh, how does this happen to me every time? <laughs> oh. No. I'm just cock blocking myself. <laughs> okay, there. I'm okay. And now. Okay, okay, yeah, aim through the gap. There you go. What? You did it. Ah. <laughs> uh. For reason identity. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, that's not... Yeah, you can you can click it down. Sorry, a chat message got all modded for swearing, but um, for some reason Twitch thinks it was like a slur or something. That's their categorization is is kind of weird, but okay. All right, we are back to the first <laughs> map's music, and we're on map fifteen, industrial zone. This is a little ominous. A little bit. Well, imagine if you beat the last map and had two health left. Okay, so I can't imagine it, that. It would be nice to like start with, with some health. Um, but this was John Romero's uh, attempt at a big ol' outdoor map. So they both did one. Yeah, because like I said, like he made one and then everyone else was like, that's really cool. So I guess that last one was American McGee's uh, attempt at this. Um, so it's really interesting to see how dude who does tech base stuff with like intricate peaks and connections and everything does it just a big old outdoor map hey Anis. hey bb oh twig stole his cat bed oh is that what he's crying about yeah oh Anis, please don't rattle things okay Give music. Oh, that's weird to play. Holy crap, there's a bazillion dude. Yeah, it's kind of wandering. And I love it because, like, they all heard you shoot, so now they're just sort of slowly filtering in your direction. Except the ones who, who don't react when they hear you. Chat would like to know how many cats we have. The answer is five. Too many. Hey. Okay. Enough that half a cat more would be too many. True. Just a, just, just a lot of men. I kind of like that this uses, crap. this uses the, no, the music from I, the first I did map. a bad thing here. Chain gun, chain gun may help, because it's better at far away. But yeah, also all these dudes uh, shoot fucking hit scan. What does that mean? It means they don't shoot projectiles. <gasps> just <gasps> as soon as they pull the trigger, the bullet hits you. So they're very annoying to dodge. They can hit you from really far away with no warning instantly. Fuck. Yeah, like that. Anyway, yeah, I like this map is just full of just dudes, and it uses the same music as the first map, which was dudes. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. There's all the health in the Yeah, start room. I don't remember where that is. It's right there. Holy crap! Oh, we still have the fucking cam up. <laughs> oh, oops. I mean, it's fine. Unless you want to get rid of it and show off the whole level. Oh, it doesn't matter that much. Chat is trying to tell you that F6 is quick save, which you already know. I do. I refuse to do. <laughs> I hate that you can stand on that lip there. You could just make that line, like, block you, and that would fix that. But no. 
You fool, Romero. What have you done? Oh, um, I totally forgot because I got distracted talking about John Romero. Uh, this is the map with the secret exit. What? Yeah. Secret exit? Yeah, it leads to the secret level. What? Yeah, there's a secret level. How? Because <laughs> <laughs> they programmed it to have a secret level. Can I go, level. Can I go up I, I th there? I think there's a lift. One of these boxes is a lift. Which, if you think about it at all, doesn't make any sense. I think it's the sort of medium ones in the corner. The stack of two of them. The stack of two of them. Right there. Yeah. It's so obvious. <laughs> yeah. I love how goofy stuff in this fucking game is. Oh, that was kind of a waste, I guess. Why was that a waste? Uh, because you already had 100 health. Berserk pack, when you oh. pick it up, bumps you to 100, no matter what your health is. Why didn't you tell me that? Or, well, it won't lower your health, but... <sighs> I can't believe you're keeping secrets from me. I just told you the secret. I believe it. If only I could jump. Then you would break whatever the puzzle is. That's not a puzzle. It's... That's a game. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any other way out of this room. Really? Yeah. Oh, 158 monsters. This says the, the most monsters of any map we've seen so far. And you've already killed yeah, a no third of them. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, they're just, just hanging around like assholes. Yeah, there's just so many dudes. It's cool. Oh, there's well. some blue armor up there. I, I love that right at the start of the level, there's a big switch mm -hmm. that opens up this fucking pit of lava that looks like it should be a building. Um, And and it's just there. How completely optional. What, is chain gun? I don't know. I get oh, this has stairs. Oh. Doesn't that hurt you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I just gotta run across it real quick. I hope the best. Okay, Annis. Anna Don't says, ruin my life. Anna says you're playing it blind, right? So it doesn't matter if you can see the screen. That's probably true. Does armor actually help? It does. If you have blue armor, ah, it, it halves, ah, ah. halves all damage you take. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah, get him. Get him! <laughs> God, it's like a synth is just breakdancing. <laughs> do, do. Oh my god. Okay, this is this is gonna take forever. They're so far away. There's okay, that dude up there is kind of a dick. Mm-hmm. You like single shotgun him probably. It doesn't lower. Oh no, I think that's just because it's teleport edge. Edging. I love that texture. It's like one of my favorite doom textures. Where are we going up there? I have no idea. Ah, Anis, don't claw me. What are you doing? Well what if he do? Then, then I'll have claws in me, which I don't love. Mm. Uh, yeah, funny thing, because of engine, how this actually works, all the buildings are the same height. What are you talking about? All buildings have the end at the same, like, point. Anis, please stop. Are they really? Yep. Because, like, the... The outside walls of them aren't like 3D objects, they're just complete solid walls. Um, but they look like they're the outsides of buildings because the sky happens to be drawn above everything. But this is really just a big room, and those are just walls in the big room. I. Not sure I understand the difference. Uh. Yeah. I apologize I for guess, my non understanding. I guess Maybe that's only blowing my mind. I guess it's not that that big a difference. But what does it mean? Well, it means you can't have a building that's only like kind of tall because you can't really make it. You can't give it a roof. Like there's no roof on any of these buildings. Oh. The sky is the roof. Oh, why didn't you just say that? Sorry, I. Does that teleport or just a? That's teleporting. Yeah. 
Will it take me somewhere cool? Uh, yeah, I think you actually have to do this. Oh, really? I believe this is the start of the progression. I knew you weren't gonna make it. <laughs> it's nice that the stairs are right there, though, so, uh... Hold on. I <laughs> it's nice that the stairs are right there, though. <laughs> All right, get a, get a good old run and start. Yeah, there you go. I think this is another, yeah, run down to that switch. Oh, nice. That did something somewhere. Oh, there you go. You can do that teleporter now. Oh yeah, I was gonna say about running over lava. It's something like every five like like every like two seconds fuck off um the game is running basically it'll do damage to you if you're on lava so if you run across it only between when it actually does the damage you'll never take any damage and uh lava floors are a little broken in zdoom because of that because if you just if you just sort of bunny hop mm -hmm. over sludge at the right times you'll never be on it when the thing goes off oh. and you'll never take damage Oh, that's goofy. Anis, why are you trying to get my attention? Anis wants to co-host. He says he knows more about Doom than I do. Oh, that's probably true. He was actually reaching between the slats at the back of this chair just to, like, claw at my shirt. Oh, I'm not remotely surprised about your fucking cat's asshole antics. <gasps> get a key? No, what happened? What did the teleporter do? Oh, you press, you press the button. What did the button do? You need a red key. Oh, uh, this has such weird old progression. <laughs> doot, doot. Oh, you have to go in this giant sort of wooden central How? thing sometime. There's a lift on it somewhere. Ow. Hold on, I gotta shoot that dude. Doot, doot. Where the fuck is the lift? Well, it's not that. Yeah, it's like a big one. That oh. has that has sort of the techie stuff on it. Yeah, like that. But on the other building. Well, I already tried that. Dude. Uh... Where the heck do I go? Mm, this map is very large. It has a lot of stuff happening. How the fuck did you get up there? Hang on, look at the thing. I don't understand what that button did. We've been in like all these buildings. Oops. This is one of those maps I don't I don't have any memory of actually playing all the way through. Is one of the secret exit though? I know bits and pieces about it. Yeah, and I, I think I know where the secret exit is. Oh wait, I think you might have to dive into the lava. Are you fucking for real? Like, down there? Yeah. I think there's a teleporter, like, right here. It would probably be good to have a peek down before you go running around. Also, I love this, like, hot floor texture. Okay, it's around- it's like one corner around there. Uh, Over there? Right around there. Yeah, just run, turn left, teleporter. Okay, now this is progress. There's gotta be some way to get here other than that. This would be a good time for the VFG, which is seven. Yeah, see, there's like flashes on a bunch of other stuff. That only happens if you're if you're looking at them. So it's good to try and get as much stuff on screen at a time, right when the ball hits. Yeah, that was pretty good. <gasps> oh. Sorry, Annis. Is Annis calling you? Yeah, I just he like fed super clawed me like an hour ago. Annis, come here. Sorry, I just gave him a smack. <sighs> Poor Annis. It was my instant reflex of ultra of, sharp claw. Of someone stabbing you? Yeah. A bit. Why did he do that? They were just fed. I don't know. Maybe he didn't eat enough. Maybe I'll, I'll just, I'll go him in the, the kibble box by himself for like 10 minutes. Because I think he didn't eat any. Come on,
Say some things about you. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was supposed to be talking about the video game. Um, there's a dude. Can't seem to shoot him. Fuck! You wanna know a hack? What? Uh, the first click of the chain gun is always perfectly accurate. What? After that, it's random a bit. So if you just like tap frequently, it's like a sniper rifle. Are you for real? Yeah, it's kind of cheating a little bit. I'm definitely gonna start doing that. Okay, dude. What the fuck was I even doing? Super don't remember. Was okay. I in here before? You have the yellow key now. Oh wait, that's where I came from. I don't know what that opens. It probably, was that one door. Probably the yellow door. Well, that one door was red. Crap. I'm wrong, man. Oh, there is a very non-obvious thing that you have to do in this map, and it's right here. Like, this is the most bizarre thing. Or wait, maybe you don't actually have to do it. Okay, but anyway, you have to go to the other side, but I think to start the secret exit, you have to hit that switch. That one? Yes, you have to run to that switch. From here. I don't like it. Fuck, fuck. Did anyone actually hear the thing I said about the chain gun? Uh, I was just kind like of- a sniper rifle. I was just kind of yelling and hoping the mic picked it up. Hey, I just got bamboozled. I gotta heal. Okay, go to a heal station. Okay, I'm looking. Don't see one. No health I left behind, really? Well, that'll make this fun. <sighs> oh, I hate it. I will go over there. It's it's really hard to actually hit it and stop there. <laughs> oh. Well, that works. Actually, Damn. I think what it might be is it's perfectly calibrated to be easy to hit from maybe from somewhere else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you run from, like, that castle green thing up there, which no one actually does, then you can, like, run into the switch, so you hit it perfectly, but only if you're not running. What does that actually do? That opens the secret exit, which I think is way over there in the lava. Like, I have to run in there? Uh, you're, you have a radiation suit right now, so it doesn't hurt you. Do anything else, or is this it? Oh, maybe I didn't open this. Well, it did something. I don't remember. We'll just hit a lot of buttons um, and see what happens. And do now? Now you have to find that teleporter to get back up and then hop across to the other side of the moat thing. This is so hard Should to be. see. Yeah. It is very cool. Which way do I go? Um, turn around, I think, and go up the stairs. And then just kind of run across off of this. Onto, that way? Yeah, kind of onto that Where? grass somewhere. Down there? Yep, I think that's the yellow door right there. Oh. Nice. There's another kind of uh, shortcut -y speed hack near here where there's a button very high up um, on this sort of castle thing, but mm -hmm. it's exposed to the outside, it's not behind a wall and hitting buttons ignores height, so if you're perfectly uh, positioned, you can hit it without even going in this room. That's fucking goofy. Okay, bunch of secrets in this room. Also, this is one of the levels with an impossible secret. Oh! That someone only figured out how to get, like, a few months ago. Really? And it involved exploiting a bug and luring a pain elemental halfway across this room, or this building. What? Oh, I'm just uh oh. Is this, this, that's the secret exit. Alright. What? Just, just skip the rest of that map, because otherwise you just have to come back. Wait, what do you mean? Well, there was more map if you went to the regular exit, but, I mean, you skipped it because you took this exit. Wolfenstein! <laughs> Congratulations.
Oh, that's so Use goofy. That secret level. Oh. I can't believe this. Did you play Wolfenstein? I watched my dad play it. Oh. This is so funny. Are there dogs? Um, sort of. But yeah. Uh oh. But yeah, this is a part of the the first level, I think, of Wolfenstein. And I love that you get to see it for the first time. <laughs> Everything's a bit bigger, and and yeah, they like like even the the just decorations in the room. They sort of translated to the closest Doom equivalent. Fucking, are you serious? Shoes off. These are these are just the the original wolf sprites. Um, cool fact: obviously they have guns, so they can accidentally shoot each other pretty easily, and they infight a lot. But Wolfenstein didn't have infighting, so they only have front frames for firing. So oh no! E even if they're firing away from you, it'll look like they're firing at you. For some reason, they didn't want to take the time to draw oh, extra man. art. Oh man, get the fuck out of here. No one likes you. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oh. Those oh. are the dogs. They were all replaced with pinkies. Oh my god, did they replace the sound too? Uh, no, they're just, I mean, it's just regular pinky enemies. The only what about the secrets? Those are all in the same places. That's fun. Although, uh, in, in Wolfenstein, they were push walls, like, the whole map was made out of blocks of the same size, uh, and secrets were all the wall would slide back. But Doom doesn't have wall sliding, so it just sort of moves them up. Although someone did make a um, a port of all of Wolf 3D, including the enemies, the status bar, the guns, everything, and sliding walls, uh, based on Z Doom, huh. which was pretty cool. Okay, Anis is requesting freedom from the kill chamber. Also, this map has a super secret exit. Does it? Yep. Alright. Doesn't take me to double Wolfenstein. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna look for secrets, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Annis. Please move your butt. Oh, is this? I think this is the the. Is this the same music? I don't know. It's got to be. It doesn't sound like anything else in Doom Two. Uh, yeah, if you find the, uh, the super secret exit, you get to play a level from Quake. What? Which wasn't out yet. No. Okay, and this also requires a blanket. My cat is so needy. Extremely true. Come here, Annis. Hey, BB. Wow. That's ridiculous. Doom guys in jail. I think in the original game there were just textures of like prison cells, but they made physical ones here. Dude, I love how the end of every episode in Wolf 3D was just like just a texture of like outside that looked like it had been drawn in like four minutes. And you just run into it and then that's him escaping. <laughs> I did, I did start porting Quake E1M1 to Z-Doom once. What? Oh yeah, this is a weird secret. It's just like a little, a little Doom bit over here in, in the corner. Can I go in there? I don't think that does anything. There's more stuff.
I guess this is kind of the reward for playing the secret level. Just absolute full on everything. I love this bizarre water ceiling. And and just like... Oh, the... <laughs> yeah. that's super weird. And like, you know, everything else is square because that's how Wolfenstein was, but th the secret just has just curved walls and doom textures. It's it's so goofy. Hmm. Don't remember where the fuck I was going. That was kind of the thing that turned me off about Wolfenstein was it's really hard to get your bearings. Like, maps use like three textures total. And there's no map in Wolfenstein. Um, and everything looks the same because it's all made out of cubes. My dad had a guidebook for this game which outlaid uh, every map. Oh, that's cool. And uh, I used to just read through that for no reason. <laughs> had little markers for bosses and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, like, um, this game is, like, why it made Doom moddable. Because people found ways to mod Wolfenstein 3D, even though it really wasn't built for it. And you had to, like, basically, like, release your own wolf3d.exe, because, like, um... Oh, oh, no, 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 okay, it was all the, all the game data was in a file, but the game read all of it from that one file. So if you wanted to release your own set of maps, you also had to release copies of all of the sprites and sounds and everything from the original game which you weren't really supposed to do because that was like pirating half of it that makes sense uh so where the you, hell am i going i don't know away from here uh so yeah it designed doom so i could read from multiple files and you can just put a map in a file and you're done oh okay oh, found some new men I love infighting with the dog. It's hilarious. It's, I'm gonna call it a dog for the rest of this stream. Um, it is a dog. There's just so many just dead-end rooms. And it's hard to even tell sometimes what's a hallway. Well... Chat is discussing the relative merits of of having mouse look or not. I think it's pretty nice. I mean, it lets me look at the level more. And it doesn't really break anything. I love the, yeah, I love the Doom just has like these wall textures just in it at all times. It's just part of the game, just for this secret level. Okay, yeah, go straight. And then, I guess left? Nope, nope, that's not straight. That's straight. Well, I was kind of corner. Like that way. Um, because it looks like there's stuff you haven't done down. No, that was where I started the game. Oh, really? Oh, you just didn't go in all the rooms. Okay, well, I guess go north then. I went up there before. I just, I remember the little, little weird doom secret is, uh, like nowhere near the rest of the map. Oh, yeah, you didn't go left of that top room. Okay. But, yeah, like doom maps are made out of, like, lines and rooms and stuff. But Wolf 3D maps are just on a grid, and to make a wall, you just fill in the grid cell, and then, and then it looks like a wall in game on all four sides, which is kind of cool. I love it. It's like the only grid-based 3D game, really. So. Okay, so Schutzstaffel is like what they're called, right? That's like, or like that's the name of the group or whatever. Honestly, I don't know. So, and that's what they say when they see you. So it's like if you just snuck through an army base and every time one of them saw you, he went army and then started <laughs> shooting. <laughs> and that's all he said to you. Oh yeah, also, um, how's it go? I think, uh, <laughs> like, Billy Blaskowitz, the protagonist of, of Wolfenstein, is, like, 
the the father of Doom Guy or something, who is then the great grandfather of Commander Keen, or maybe the other way around. It might it might be Blaskowitz, grandfather of Keen, father of Doom Guy, something like that. But supposedly they are all related. Which mm -hmm. actually adds some wacky lore here. Like, this is an actual castle. Doom Guy's great grandfather ran like snuck through, killing everybody, and now the whole castle and all its inhabitants are just in hell, exactly the same. Wow. And so you That's get to some wacky you get lore. to see your great grandfather's own personal hell, which he's not in because I thought I thought that Doom Games hell. had like um a dope fish on a stick. That was like murdered or something. Um Which one was that? That was in Quake. There's no what? dope fish in Doom. I thought it was in Doom. No, sorry. Really? I feel like Doomfish is in a lot of games, but this is not one of them. I just... How can that be? Oh yeah, um, a group of mappers, I, I think I've told you about this before, but they made uh, a map pack called Doom 2 the way it did. Um, where they, they made just new maps. They're sort of imagining themselves as the staff of id, making Doom 2 themselves. As if this game didn't exist, but they had the same general ideas. Don't hit that, that's the regular exit. I think the secret exit in this is in this room, actually. That one? I think so, somewhere. But I just... It's like a wall near the, near the entrance, maybe? What are you trying there to There you go. Yeah, completely oh. not obvious. And then there's more walls that open. To make sure you mean it. What are you even doing? Yeah, I think in, in the original level, if you did them in the wrong order or something, it would actually block off this exit. Holy crap. Anyway, now you've done the first level of Wolfenstein. Oh, okay, okay, JP says, uh... Uh, Billy Blaskowitz is Commander Keen's grandfather. Doom Guy is just implied to be a distant descendant of, of Keen. I see. Oh, yeah, I think it was actually Tom Hall like tweeted something like Doom Guy is definitely related. Oh, yeah. So, this is a port of, uh, I think, the first boss level from Wolfenstein, where you fight Hans Gross, who is a large man with chain guns. I have heard of this before. And. When he sees you, he says something. Wait, there was no reason to save. <laughs> something German. Something German. Um, is it? Maybe he just says his name like everyone else. He's like, Hans Gross. <laughs> Army. <laughs> Army. <laughs> well, this map has like buttloads of secrets. Um, yeah, I knew about that. Oh. I watch my guy play this Oh yeah, game he says Guten Tag. I knew it. I fucking remember. I used to get scared by that. And he, it's the angriest Guten Tag I've ever heard. And I used to live in Germany. Um. Well, I guess they're just not angry enough. Ta-da! Yeah, I remember. I told you I used to study <laughs> you, maps. Oh fuck! I can't believe you specifically remember this map. I, I guess it is kind of distinct being like a very large yeah, ornate room. Yeah, so I remember there's one big room and then there's like lots of secret shit. I used to just stare at that. There was no reason to. Uh, JP says when he dies, he says Mooty, i.e. mommy. Ah. These guys say mein Leben, which I think means my love? I, I don't know. I, that's what I heard originally, but I have also been told it was, it was some somehow a reference to Hitler, which. Well, the, would, most of this game is. Yeah, no, I mean like like their last cry as they die is, oh Hitler's cool. Which what is, are you serious? I, I'm not like Hitler. I don't know. They're just referring to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. But but I thought Laban meant love, or maybe it means life. I'm okay, they're saying life. they're saying it means my life. Oh uh, yeah, I thought it. But that doesn't make sense either. Who dies and says, I'm dying? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know many people have died. Anyway, here's Hans Gross. <laughs> that gun is not going to do it. Why not? Hit, hit that seven. Oh yeah, the rocket, uh, the cyber demon is immune to the splash from rockets. So rockets kind of suck against him. 
And that's because if he shoots a wall, it shouldn't hurt him. He actually shoots exactly the same rockets you do. Or, wait, is that true? I think it's true. Jesus Christ. How is this boy not dead yet? Oh my god! You're strafing like a fucking professional, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't get hit once. Uh, there's, Whoa, there's... that's fucked up. Yeah, that's just a doom thing. I love how like 50 fucking people in chat told me it was my life. As though, oh, of course. The normal thing people say when they get shot. <laughs> uh, hang on. I can't I yeah. fucking knew it. Yeah, apparently this was Adrian Carmack, I think, the artist. Um, just making a joke about how he had been tired of drawing cutesy stuff for keen games for like <gasps> 17 of them. Oh no! Oh no! Hold on. Goodbye, Commander Keen. Can you really just... Yeah, so he was... He was so glad to be getting to the gory stuff that he drew this. Can you actually kill him? Yes. Really? Yeah. Is it worth it? <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't believe this fucking sound effect they used. Dude, there's a... Um... Well, I'll tell you when you actually done the thing but uh yeah the blue torches are next to secret things they're just big doors what happened just, you hit it twice yeah is it like that in the original um i don't know like these are in the middle of the room so having the move would be kind of weird Uh, there's also two oh, two more back there at the beginning that have blue torches. Nice. What does that do? 200 health and armor. It's like the best health item you can get. I think you missed a box of shells on the other end, because I thought there were two? But that would mean you Over should here? have- No, uh, down on the other side. But that should mean you have 48. You don't. Okay, yeah. Where the fuck was I going? And that's it. And then what? Then you go back to the Keens. Wait, really? Yep. Do I have to do all of them? Yep. You for real? Yep. <sighs> this is another special hard-coded thing. If the last Commander Keen in a level dies, then, uh, like, doors with a certain tag open. And, uh, there's a, there's a recent, like, big community wad that used that, and it, like, hid, like, seven Keens all throughout a very large map, and you just had to, to hunt and find them all. Am I supposed to... We, how do I get over there? Just walk over there. It's, like, you can, you can just hit the corners. It, it looks steep, but Doom Guy can actually step up, like, a pretty decent... Um, right. And that's the end of the secret levels. Holy crap. I totally, I was like gonna say like the keen died, but I was like, wait a minute. That's not quite right. But it was. I just totally forgot. Anyway, um, this does cause a paradox and Doom Guy was now never born. Hmm. That makes sense. Suburbs. This map terrified me. Oh, it has the same fucking music as Refueling Base, the other map that terrified me. Mm hmm And also, it just has a lot of scary things happening. Like that dude. The Naked Man. I don't like the Naked Man. Oh, also those dudes, the Rocket Men. Oh. Also, this is the map with a garage in it. What? Yep. Uh oh. This hey, map, what the fuck? This map is called Suburbs. It is by Sandy Peterson, and it is apparently based on somewhere he used to live. I love the arch file sound effect, it's just so crispy. Oh yeah, you wanna, yeah. Got some rockets. Hi, Thrace.
That's the garage. Oh, uh, why is there so many dudes? Uh, that's just the garage full of dudes. What? What happened? Oh yeah, there's a. They just start teleporting out of there once you wake them up. That was another fun, like Sandy thing. Just, just sort of weird teleporter that you didn't quite understand. It just seems like they're. It's happening randomly. It's it's when they cross a particular line or whatever. But yeah, it just sort of scatters them everywhere. It's really cool. Chat asks, do I remember correctly, you can't sidestep Archvile Fire, it's hitscan. Yes, it is hitscan. But only, like, right at the end of the animation, which has a long-ass charge time. There, there are people who, like, dodge for, like, a quarter of a second and then come back because they know so perfectly when he'll actually do the attack. It's really cool to watch, actually. Is it? It's very impressive. Oh yeah, don't wait too long to strafe, because those do follow you. Yeah, I know. Sometimes. The ones with the smoke trails are the ones that follow you. Yeah, like that one. It's funny, like, it's so hard to notice that, because when they're coming directly towards you, there's only so many sprite angles. So, if you can move a bit, and it still looks like it's headed straight at you. So, oh, yeah. uh, like, I mean, I played this game and never even realized that only some of them actually home in. Very spooky level. Got the scary music. Rocket launch is pretty cool. Oh, good well, question, Timmy. Is it Archfile or Arcfile? Oh my god. When is it pronounced Arc? Oh no! Anis! Idiot cats just like rolled their entire bed <laughs> off my desk. Are you guys okay? What fools? Okay, yeah, they're fine. Oh crap. I mean, uh, at least they had a soft landing on the cat bed they <laughs> took with them. I think there's a key over there or something. I'm actually, I'm surprised that they make it hard to see the key because you have to go over there. I can't see. Twigs. No, oh, please don't kick stuff. Ah, okay. Oh, surprise! This is like the original sort of spawn, big spawn trap. This is basically like most of the level. Is just all this. Oh yeah, this map, um, this was the first place I saw a ghost. What? Um, so, the Archival can resurrect monsters, right? Mm-hmm. I think I've explained this to you before. Yeah. Um, but when a corpse is under a door, when it closes, oh. it crushes the corpse into, like, pool of blood. Um, because otherwise there would be, like, a giant cacodemon head in the way of a door, just to make any sense. Um, but when it crushes to pool of blood, like, it turns off physics or something just because that's what that object does and then when the archfile resurrects that pool of blood it doesn't turn the physics back on okay um so it the resulting monster can now walk through walls 
um, and cannot be shot by hit scan or hurt by projectiles because they both go right through it. Uh oh. You have rockets. And there is ammo somewhere in this level. It's a sandy level, so who knows where it is. Anyway, like the only way to kill them is basically a rocket blast. But yeah, there was just like I was playing co-op with my dad oh, I can't or something. See you. Twigs. Please move. And yeah, there's just an imp just slowly following me around the whole map. That's kind of hilarious. There's some exile sounds. Uh, yeah, this kind of this kind of mass teleport trap is sort of a classic staple of community maps nowadays. Really? Yeah, because everyone's a jerk. <laughs> well, all the mappers are jerks. Mm -hmm. Kinda. I mean, they've been playing this game for about forty-seven years. So. <laughs> oh yeah, this also has uh, one of the coolest secrets in the game coming up. I love Sandy Peterson's garage, and I guess this is like his living room. There's like three secrets in here. That's, what is that? It's some kind of skull lava. Kind of cool. Like oh, that's fixture. fucked up. Yeah, I love the just the hell light fixtures that aren't just like gross stuff. Hmm, pretty cool. Yeah. It's like a little heart thing. Yeah. So there's stuff in this room. Go back in the room. Find all the stuff. Okay, I'm looking. Ooh, there's one stuff. What does it do? Um, it moves you up so you can shoot that light in the bookcase. You have to shoot it from there? Yeah, because you couldn't look up or down in, in original Doom. Uh... That's one, there's two more. Yeah, there's a usually a bit more to that. On everything? Uh, actually, it might be. Anyway, the, the so yeah, that that comes down, and that's how you're supposed to get up and shoot the eyes. Hit the torch. Like we'll go up to the torch in the front. Yeah, and that lifts that, so you can actually ride the lift. And I guess there's only two secrets. Whatever. Wait, what do you mean? Well, I said there were three. You mean actually ride the lift? Oh, well now you can use that and you can oh. stand there. Otherwise that thing would have been in the way. And oh, that, and then that's when And you... then that's perfectly in front of you, yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Just two little, like, shooty puzzles uh, mm. in the same room. That are completely broken by mouse look. So I guess there is something that that, that breaks, but... There's not many of those. Where the heck am I going? We got a blue key, so I guess to the blue door. Yeah, but where is that? Um, I think it's where the uh, skeleton mans were, right here. I love these textures of like weird bathroom wall and stuff. I'm pretty sure on ultraviolence there are more revenants there, but you just get pinkies. Sorry, dogs. <laughs> I'm okay with dogs. What happened? Oh. oh, yeah, also when they see you, they just go, ah, Which is fuckers. very inhospitable. Yeah, I don't like it a whole lot. Yes, this is map 16, immediately after the secret levels, for whoever just came in and missed them. Finally. I mean, they don't have that much health, but... No, it's, they definitely it do. It sucks to stand in front of them. Oh, yeah, just look right at that texture, and the stream quality will implode. Really? Yeah, it turns out that uh, compression schemes are always bad at something, and they're generally not built for pure red next to pure blue. <laughs> I didn't know that. People get, like, actual frame rate drops in maps that have a lot of that. And there is a map in Doom 1 that has tons of it everywhere. It's everyone's least favorite texture, and they're wrong because I think it's fantastic. Fire blue. <laughs> cool. Holy crap. That is a button, I think. Oh, it does a thing in the room behind you. Oh, I think it brings down the fire blue thing. 
Only for a second because it's a lift. Wait, hey, really? Yeah, so go back in there and. Oh, yeah, this takes you to the plasma guns. I love it. It looks like a light fixture. And that's a teleport. And here's some guns. Cool, good guns. Alright. Hey. I don't like it. That's real gross. Yep. No! One of these you can walk through. You for real? Yeah, I think it's the one in the back. Oh, that's against the disgusting! Wall. Yeah. Welcome it's to really Doom. bad. They just felt like drawing some gore. This is just bad. That's like, that's the red key basically right there. Oh, it's, I don't understand. Whose job was that? Adrian Carmack? That one. There you go. Oh, ew. Oh. Oh yeah, and this is the intestine floor. I thought there were cacodemons in here. Man, I can't believe how many fewer monsters Hurt Me Plenty has. I think it's for every three monsters hurt on, on Ultraviolence. Hurt Me Plenty has about two, and um, the lowest two difficulties have one. But it seems like they mostly took out the hardest ones, which is really interesting. I didn't realize how much they swapped out actual monster types on this difficulty. Oh, yep. Nice. Nice. Got all that plasma. Cool. God, nasty. That's truly bad. Anyway, that was completely unnecessary. Why? Well, I mean, you got some ammo, but you didn't get like a key or anything. Just another sandy side room. Well, TM. It was pretty awful. Let's go somewhere better. You got the red key. Okay, I went in here and I came up here and then I. Oh, yes. So the graphics programmer was John Carmack and the main artist, maybe the only artist, uh, was Adrian Carmack. And they are not related in any way. Are you for real? Yeah. I was trying to make a joke. Yeah. Like everyone else, I'm and, sure. And John Carmack and John Romero, also not related. <laughs> Dumbass. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Go to the cubes in the corner back there. Okay. I love the obvious progression in these fucking maps. It's so funny, like, I know everything in here that could be used as a switch. But then you're like, well, none of this looks like a switch. And I'm like, obviously. The, <laughs> obviously, the, the lava's the exit. Yeah, obviously. Or, you know, these, these thin blocks. That means it's a lift. That doesn't, that's nonsense. A bit. How long did people wander around in this fucking map going, what the fuck? Oh my god, I just... I thought to myself, is this gonna be a fucking trick again? You're and right. then it was! Cause this uh, game is full of that. That's why it's called Doom 2 Tricks and Traps. No. Nah. No. Don't make shit up at me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just hit me. Yep, that is his job. Okay. Just pull the lift down again from the back, and these, that thing will open also. Turn around. Duh. And you killed basically everything. Oh. Nice. Mm. Oh, this is just embarrassing. Hey, still mm. on world record pace. <laughs> Sorry, PB pace. Ooh, Tenements. It's called Tenements? Yes, it is. David Tenements. Yes. <laughs> the tenth Doom guy. <laughs> um, this is another... Romero map. It's kind of an interesting hybrid between like the sandy style of outdoor stuff and just sort of weird things going on, but also just the I don't know, sort of neatness of Romero. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's a pretty interesting thing. Like Romero's maps always had like a very consistent texture theme and everything, 
and this one kind of juggles it around, but it still has those like intricacies and all that kind of stuff. It's just uh, freaking red key my ass. Feels like a really interesting blend of styles. This game is making me fudge keys, actually. Making you fudge keys? Fetch See, keys. told you. Holy crap! Tell me what. Um, that's- that's the texture that must legally always be a secret. I love it that it's a secret window into a thing you get to some other way. Well, this makes it easier. Come on, dude. No, he's busy going rah, 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 rah. With, like, reverb. Somehow. There we in, go. In his own voice. Hmm. That door is still locked. Sure is. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Fucking for real? Ah. No! 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 What a dick. This was just the, the most- There's nothing left. This was the most asshole place. There's some teleporters that might help. Oh. I love how they're peeking out from under the wall. I love that. That's one of my favorite things in this entire game is this room for those teleporters. They're just peeking. There you go. You're free. Cool job, me. Figured it out all by myself. Yeah, that's what I remember, too. <laughs> hmm. Guess you got a lot of plasma. I wonder what will happen. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. ah. Oh yeah, the the thing opens, so all those dudes are free now. Are you for fucking real? Yeah. Of course. God, fuck that so hard. Oh, there's some shells in there. Nice. Oh yeah, here's how you get down well here. Going up a lift? No, the fact those dudes got revealed. What just, was that for? Just doors everywhere. I don't remember. I remember this being here. I don't remember what it opens. Okay, they got a shotgun. And then run really far forward, I guess. What did that open? I don't know. Probably some kind of secret. Are you for fucking real? Oh, maybe this was the place where you could uh, hit the switch to the wall. Mother f fuck. Are they fighting each other? Doesn't sound like it. Oh yeah, um, monsters are immune to their own projectiles. So it's it's very uncommon for like imps to fight with imps, because if they hit each other with a fireball, they'll just ignore it. But they can infight still. Hmm. How, you ask? Oh, I didn't, but go ahead and enlighten me. Well, um, if, if they go to do a melee attack and accidentally hit the other, or if they uh, inflict damage some other way, like by, by blowing up bar a barrel that hurts an imp without killing it, mm -hmm. um, then they'll infight. Um, I, I think they'll even still throw fireballs at each other, not really caring that it doesn't do anything, until they're against each other and then they'll just claw themselves. Well, 
That's supremely goofy. There was a bug in the first release of Doom where if a monster uh, destroyed a barrel and the barrel hurt itself, the monster would get mad at itself and claw itself to death. Oh, what? Because it would look for where its target was and it was right there. So it decided that's melee range and it would it would melee itself until it died. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ooh. What did that do? That. A pyramid? Yeah. What happened? Oh. <laughs> Where is that fucker? There are... Eggs. I mean, I guess people who've been playing this game for a long time are like, ridiculously good with the Berserk. Which does, um, a pretty good amount of damage. Like, it can splat, uh, a regular pistol guy. What? Yeah, you just punch him and he just just explodes which, oh. which is very satisfying um and so there, there are people who will do goofy stuff like a revenant um will shoot a missile if you're far enough away but if you're so close it'll try to to punch you instead mm -hmm. melee attack um so there are people who will like run up to a revenant it'll pull back its arm to, to do a mm -hmm. punch They'll punch it and then back away before the punch lands. Then the Revenant will oh switch. Oh my god. Like, uh, um, oh no, then, then they just run back in. So they stay in its melee range, but stay out of its actual How hit range. How do I get over there? That's a good question. Um, was there something? Oh yeah, by the way, you can hit that button without lowering the thing. I just found that out. Was there something in there? What did that do? Oh, that raised the bridge. So was there something across the bridge? It was. I was looking the last place you were. It seemed important. Look down. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. It's funny, there's like far more pain elementals in vanilla Doom 2 than in most maps that have many, many more monsters. <laughs> or most like map packs. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do it. But as soon as you hit the button you'll you'll be good. No matter. Okay. What's the point of this? Um, I think it's also raising a thing on the other side. Good guess. But, yeah, so, yeah, this this is just, like, a quadrant of the map, and it just sort of... that just that, that just lowers the thinging so you don't get stuck. Um, and it's just this, this weird sort of, like... The space, like, evolves several times. Mm -hmm. Even though even though it still has the same basic shape, it feels like a lot of stuff happened. Mm -hmm. And and also, it's nonsense as a building, and that's just very cool. It feels like John Romero finally found and took whatever the fuck Sandy Peterson's drugs are. <laughs> Why does it have to be drugs? You're right. Drugs are destroying our schools. Uh -huh. Ah. Ah. Where am I supposed to go? Probably to wherever, somewhere key you just got. Yeah, I'm out of this. You know what? I think there's there's some like interesting quirk like the the cacodemon's melee attack is a bite. And oh. I, th I think it doesn't have a sound. Not really? Yeah. Or maybe What's that it, awful? It's missing something. What's going on? It's just one in a pit. It's not that bad. Oh, it's very bad. I don't like them. Oh, that's cool. That switch wasn't there a second ago. Yeah, this is another room. Just Things just happen. 
And I love it. There's just this sweet sequence of stuff unfolding. You can just kind of stay away from him and, until you get back there. That noise is so scary. That is so spooky. Kind of a pain in the ass to hit from here. Although I think its hitbox is taller than its sprite. Come over here. This is so annoying. Don't worry, you'll be down there soon enough. What? You're kidding. Well, how else are you gonna get the yellow key? I don't... Um... Oh, oh no. I love it. That switch wasn't there before. Why is it here now? Um, so you can do something. Also, there's just doors opening somewhere. <sighs> yeah, this this section is also... It's just four weird sections. Like John Romero How was do like, I go in there? Um, I don't remember. Oh, you might come at it from the other side. Timmy says, I really love this POV of me getting throttled to death by papaya. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> well, while Lexi commentates on it, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Commentate feels like it shouldn't be a word. It feels like someone was just trying to sound smug or whatever, and they just put too many suffixes. Oh, this is butts. Nice. Yeah. Get him. Alright. I don't remember what... Wait, really? Yeah. Although there's... I think there's something you can do in that little sort of stream at the back of this room. This is really cool. I like this this little stream. It feels like something that doesn't exist in this game, even though it clearly does. Mm-hmm. Just this kind of, like, tiny thing. Ah! Stand in front of him. Um... Just, it feels like a kind of like realistic decoration that is more of a modern thing because most little streams in Doom 2 just immediately go under a wall and whatever, they're gone. Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah, it explodes into up to three of them. In the original game, um, it didn't, like when it spawned them, they were just sort of randomly a short distance from where it died mm -hmm. and it checked if they like it would kill them immediately if they like overlapped something else it was like well they spawned in a fucking torch but um it didn't check that they weren't on the other side of a wall oh so um there there are some maps um where it's just very easy what's to, that about i don't know some kind of switch clearly oh is that all it did really okay uh, yeah, there's there's maps where it's very hard to to kill every monster because a lot of them will just end up I open that now. outside the map. On the other hand, Doom 2 does not count lost souls against the kill percentage, specifically because of pain elementals. Fools. Here's another weird room that just evolves. Romero was really good at spaces evolving. I can't believe I'm leaving that up there the whole stream. <laughs> you I, seriously can't believe it. I can't believe it's accurate. Super accurate. Hey! Oh, you ran your face uh, directly. This would be a good place to use rockets because it can't move. Well, I didn't. Rockets are fine. Oh, it's dead. Well. I already used rockets when I can use whatever I was using. Um. Fair point well made. Spooked. This would be a great place to use rockets. Damn, I can't believe you dodged all those by like one pixel. I 
Nice. Okay, what was I doing? Man. How do I go down? Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this, right, this game's is, always making me save. This is the Underhalls music. Wow. That's a demon door. Yeah, very ominous. For some reason. I love how the fire stays in the same place if it loses sight of you, so you can like tell like A that it's not on you anymore, and B where walking would make him see you again. <laughs> yeah. That's just to get out of the lava. I, I love that he put some guys there just to make absolutely sure you see that that door is open now. Because <laughs> there's things shooting at you from it. There's a secret here. Over there? Um, it is jump off the back of this and then turn around and hit the switch. I think. All right. And then, like, turn immediately around. And, okay, said... just lower the thing. Oh, that's the switch. Okay. And I opened that on the right, which you can then sort of jump into off the stairs. Cool. Whoa. All right, time to. Oops, that was the wrong way. I'm gonna go in here. Nice. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> God, what an asshole. That's probably one of the kind of dickest uh, traps in the game. down the first one. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like kind of an ex extended variant of that cacodemon room from the factory. It's super weird. Like, I love how just like cartoonishly like 90s adventure game weird a lot of the stuff in Doom 2 is. Like, this game did not take it ser itself seriously at all. <laughs> This is so yeah. absurd. <laughs> Just got a weird maze of stuff that opens of its own accord. Wow. Already cool. the exit, huh? Yeah. Did it. That is map 17. Hmm. Hey, the part's seven minutes. That's not bad. Mm. <laughs> seven mm. minutes. Jesus. On his own map, too. Alright, now we're back to Sandy Peterson land. This is another map that kind of creeped me out. What? Hey, I feel like I'm stuck. Welcome to Sandy Peterson. That kind of sets the tone for the whole map. Does it really? Yeah, also in the original game, I think Zedum fixed this, but that was that was like a repeating door. So every time you shot through the open doorway, it would play the kachunk of a switch again. Oh. Because it was set to, to do it every time instead of just once, even though the door stays open. That's okay. are just poison signs. Dogs. Oh, because there's poison in there. Don't fall in there. These are invisible dogs. I was gonna say that.
This is actually a little weird. What the fuck is this? It's the courtyard. That is This the music is ominous. Oh, it's so good. Crap, I added a symbol to it. That is the eponymous courtyard. You're in it now. Well, no one likes this. It's got many dogs. Oh, hey, we're back to that fucking goofy gargoyle face, which is on every side of every fucking pillar in this courtyard. It's a little spooky. Oh, I think you accidentally opened that thing on that little metal. How did I do that? Um, the door was, was a shooty door, I think. For real. Oh, there's so many of these dogs. There's a, oh yeah, um, I experienced Doom to the way it did mostly through um, a Let's Play by someone who was, who had the, one of the uh, mappers as a co-commentator. Um, and for some reason, he had a key bound to suicide himself. What is that? Um, for comedic effect, I guess. And so when he just saw like a really bad texture, he would just look at it like he was contemplating it for like three seconds. And then just press the suicide key to express his feelings on it. Why? I don't know. That's, uh, there's, there's that's a, so melodramatic. I know. There's a room that just has just a brick texture with a fucking gargoyle on it. Uh, <laughs> in due to the way it did. Like, they deliberately were like, Sandy Peterson totally would have made a fucking room with this texture. And so the guy just walked in, just looked at it, and just hit the button. Oh, no. It's always funny when you, you can tell when he's about to hit it because he quick saves first. <laughs> Good stream content is describing another stream I watched once. <laughs> Should have been there, guys. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Look it up. I, I can just play it right now. Oh, the, the stream. <laughs> we can add another little. <laughs> start filling up the stream with videos. It's just garbage. <laughs> You open the garage. Uh, I think in original Doom there was a bug where the inside of that room, one of the walls was missing. Oh jeez. So you looked at it and you just saw like graphics error. Oh no. Hall of mirrors where stuff just kind of gets like... What is this for? Away. Also, I love that you found the yellow key, which was just on the ground in a corner in here. Oh. I don't remember doing that. Yeah, I saw you look at it and pick it up and I was like, yeah, nice. Surprise! Oh, this room turns completely dark too, but it's much easier if you have a uh, vulnerability. It's hilarious. Another just room full of stuff. Yeah, this map also just releases stuff into you in like little waves. But it feels very natural because it's like, well, I went up here and a room opened. Yeah. A room with like 50 power ups. Nice. I don't know why you grab both of those. Well, because I probably wasn't coming back up here. Well, that might not be true. <laughs> uh, you might want to stay up here, because there is something... I love these tiny techno beams, too. Oh, you fucking serious? Oh, this is actually a Z-Doom feature. Partial invisibility makes it so monsters might not notice you. Another weird Sandy Peterson thing coming up in a second. That's another okay, weird ass room. Just the blue key among all these little potions. Is this so cocky gamers won't notice it because they'll be like, I don't need healing. And they'll be like, I don't know where to go. I need a key or something, but I didn't <laughs> notice if I picked one up. <laughs> I love stairs. I remember it, it just stuck in my head ever since I, I saw some video where someone said, nobody makes maps with the stair builder things. People like just to make like doors or, or sort of bars or something, some obvious barrier. But yeah, like original Doom and Doom 2 had a ton of fucking uh, just 
stairs. I did it. That grew. You did. Wow, you saw like half of that map. I did. <laughs> I Oops. guess. I guess that's fair. Yeah, uh, but yeah, partial invisibility sucks. I don't think I actually said this, but uh, like because it adds like a random angle to every um, projectile attack. If you're strafing around and you see someone aiming at you and you'll naturally strafe out of the way, if they miss in the same direction you're strafing, you might run directly into their thing with just like half a second to kind of adjust. I love this little guardhouse. Oh, Wait, I thought that would open the door, but it didn't. Maybe it isn't a guardhouse. Um, this, uniquely in Doom 2, um, was a map that was cut from Doom 1. What? Yeah. Uh, I was gonna be Doom 1, they made most of it, then they were like, no. Uh, and then they brought it back and finished it for Doom 2. Uh, it was started by Tom Hall, finished by Sandy Peterson. And it has a lot of Doom 1 kind of stuff in it. Like, Doom, How is that? Doom 1 was just kind of weirder with interactions than Doom 2 is, and that's saying a lot, because Doom 2 is pretty weird about it. Why is 1 weirder? Um, Doom 1 just had a lot of, like, very confusing doors and sort of, like, multi-step sequences where it wasn't quite obvious like what was actually causing things to happen it just felt like the like just walls were opening and closing around you almost at random as you just walked around um like like there was a map um where for some reason all the doors used a switch texture the same switch texture e like every single door almost and they it just didn't give a shit did they <laughs> that was a sandy peterson map <laughs> uh surprise but yeah, that was it was so weird. And there's like like this this game's a little tamer about it, but Yeah, Doom One uh was pretty goofy. Uh I think this is recycled music again. Or maybe it shows up again later. I like this, because a lot of the Doom 2 track Doom 1 had a lot of music that felt very, like, scary music, sort of. Mm -hmm. It was, like, like really morose or, or or something. God, like, uh... I forget which boss music it was, but one of them is just, like, feels like you're fucking lost at the ass end of some alternate dimension, which you kind of are. And it's really cool. But then Doom 2 is mostly, like, a lot of rock music. But, but this is kind of appropriately creepy for a Doom 1 leftover map. Mm. You know, like, there you go, switch doors. And and stairs for no reason. There was no reason to have that switch there. Ah. Um, what the fuck is this map called? Citadel, yeah. That's... I love that word. I know. What the fuck is a citadel? I don't know. It Very cool. It only brings to mind this map. It brings to mind Half-Life 2. Oh, that's true. That had a thing called a citadel. And this this room, it makes you open that door just for two dudes to shoot you. It's like it would be a trap, except it just fucking makes you... It's so bizarre. I don't think you should get that. I think you might die. Now, here's some more weirdness. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, look down at the at the poison again. Yeah, I raised up. Uh, and oh. I think you can actually hit that button multiple times and just keep raising it up more. Well, I feel like that flashing is giving me wig up. Yeah. I love watching them run around from above so because they're so clearly just bumping into each other and each stuck in like a little <laughs> box. Cool. What goofs? And that's like a half a bridge or something. How did I get up there then? I don't remember. It's like I it's something goofy. I think you actually have to like raise the poison thing a bunch of times. And oh then like my run gosh. run off of Serious? it. Yeah, something like that. 
Yeah, like, this is what I mean. It's so weird. <laughs> this fucking That's map. It's super weird. Here's like the you the mini serious? courtyard. God damn it. Oh man. But we haven't even seen the weirdest and worst part of this map. Cool. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. A tricky thing is, um, once a monster has decided it hates something, it will continue shooting that thing, um, and ignore anything else that shoots it for like a full like minute or something. I don't, I don't know. There's, mm -hmm. there's a timer, and I think it's, it might actually be different per monster. But yeah, so if you want to encourage infighting, you actually have to be careful to not shoot some monsters. Huh. Because then they'll ignore if they get shot in the back by someone else. Why didn't they just lower and not go up? I don't know. It did on the other side too, but... Yeah. See, see, it's just like a switch. Just for nothing. It just it just does a thing and it's like, oh, well, that was nice, I guess. Well, what the fuck? What are we doing here then? Leave. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Alright, I hate hitting the wall. Well, hit the guys instead. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh my god, this is so... Oh no. Found the secret. There was a door. Oh, surprise! What? Okay, now this is the fucking goofiest um, thing in this map. Fuck. So to get out of this room, you had to raise that thing by the door that's up now. The the way you do that is by shooting this wall. That wall next between the window and the door, I think it's there. Which shoot you, what? You have to shoot just that empty wall. Yeah, which eh? you which you did already, I think, because you were shooting at the imps. But if you don't accidentally do that, there's no indication, and then you just can't get out of the room. I, oh. I, had, I had this happen to me on co-op once because I totally forgot that was a thing, and and we were just like fucking stuck. We had to eight clip out of the room because. <laughs> What were we supposed to do? How is this secret? There's a fucking key here. I know. Don't bullshit me. I think that's actually the one key you actually need in this, this map, too. So, okay, here's the secret. You did the level. Yeah, see, jump see, there's no Shit. weird thing. Like, the fucking... You can't make that jump. You have to come there from somewhere else. Um, yeah, just, like, Absolutely things ridiculous. are secret that are clearly not. Makes sense. Oh, uh, you haven't gone through the left door. That one? Yeah. Kind of amazing how many just little twisty rooms they fit in here too. Cats, what are you doing? Pesky dog. Nice. Shoot him. And, okay. and yeah, just like a, a thin hallway with just a little platform you can't get up is, is very kind of Doom 1. Um, oh, this is fun. Is it? Yeah, hit that wall. That one? The gray one. What do you mean? Hit the gray wall. The, uh, the salt, just gray, no green. That one. Now hit the back wall of that. What? Yeah. That just brings the lift down again. Oh, 
But where is this? A secret. Okay, wait. Save and then back up and then run over the fucking wall into this building that's like not even part of the level. It's just over there. Yep. It's not part of the level. Well, I mean, it looks like it isn't. It looks like it's just just fucking out there. But you can leap over the fucking wall and get this whole section. Oh wow. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. Uh, I did. You do that. saw it was a crusher, and then I you just ran directly I didn't into mean it. To. Oh, you bumped the wall. Mm. I love cool S with the parentheses. That's like now the S is the eyes of a smiley or something. <laughs> I think there's like the side wall of this is. Um... Fuck that man. Fuck that human man. She's so cramped. And your reward is one rocket. Appreciate yeah, it. yeah, cramped is, is... Oh, that's how you get this guy. Oh, it's the army. <laughs> army. <laughs> what are they even doing out here for? You. Ooh, more secrets. What was that? Auto map. Oh. Oh yeah, I there's a there's a very cool part coming up. Mm -hmm. I can't do this. Try, no, yeah, you can just just like go at it on when it's on its way up, and you'll like pop through it. I love that button. It just adds a second layer of imps. Anyway, you have a lot of rockets. Just FYI. Yeah, I was about to... Be careful not to hit the lip of the window. That will be painful. Well, that's probably true. This room looks like it's supposed to be just for fun. So you claim. Well, well, you're making me a little nervous now. There's some progression here. Cool. Well, I done it. All right. Now, hang on. This is really cool because this room corresponds to a map of the level. What? Yeah, like those teleporters are, are That's just like XL3. Basically arranged the same way as the map if you want to look at the map. Wait, 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 don't go through any. Only one of them is, is a useful place. Uh yeah, let me hit minus to zoom out. Yeah. Ah. Oops, tap. Oh, you stepped on it. Oops. Uh but yeah, the uh, the middle one takes you to I think I think to the marble thing in the like the middle courtyard. Mm -hmm. And then the four corners take you to the the four towers of the castle. How do you thing. look? Um you can just arrow keys to move it around. But that doesn't move me around? No. Okay, so the one you want is the upper right. Upper right, huh? Yeah. Oops, help. <gasps> okay, so that one? Yep. What? This is this is the only interesting place uh, that you can only get to using those teleporters. And maybe the middle, but I don't think that does anything. I think it's just a gun or something. <laughs> uh, gun game. Alright, got those dogs taken care of. Ah, oh, crap! Secret dogs. I don't know what that button does. Oh. Oh, oh okay, it just lets you out. That's that's weird. Okay. Anyway, uh, you can leave now, but there is also a yellow key. If you want to look for it, I don't remember where it is. Oh my god. Help. I just don't remember what I'm doing. Level's so long. I am so lost. Oops. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, yeah, good. Out. Out, out was here? good. Yeah. 
Okay, now just sort of run around the outside edge until you see like another little building you can get to. Right here? Yeah, it's somewhere out here. Just around the other side. Nice scent. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> there you go. What do I. Over there? Yeah. This is the exit. Which is kind of unique in that you need the red key and one of the other two keys. Whoa! Yeah. That's kind of neat. And I think if you get just the red key, you can you can do a glide, mm -hmm. which is when you line yourself up very precisely and fit through a gap exactly as wide as Doomguy is. Uh, so you can do it with just the one key. Holy crap, that level took forever! Oh, good. Oh. So, the, <laughs> the city theme sort of breaks apart here. Oh my god! What's this dude doing? Buddy. If you walk off the back of this platform, delicately, yeah. I don't know what the point of that was, but we'll, well accept it. Now you can explore the lava if you want, I guess. You know, this guy runs really fast. He does. He runs at like 23 miles an hour. Yeah, it's like riding a small motorbike, but it's this doomed guy. Maybe he's got like little spinny legs. Riding a Vespa. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe you skipped the gotcha. What? Or maybe not. I guess we'll see where you go. This is this is a very um Whoa, that's fucked up texture. Not what Yeah. It's like a photo of some rocks or something. It's cool. Just squabbling over this teleporter. Wow, there's a lot of them. That's not ideal. Oh, this is not crap, ideal. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, okay, well, it's too late. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you want to call it a break point for now? What? Yeah. We've only been playing for like two hours. <laughs> That's a pretty good stopping point, right? Uh... You're making me a face! Unless you want to try again and go through the door in front of you. What? 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 Oh. Okay, but after that we can quit. Alright. This is an okay stopping point, yeah, because it's like basically the start of the hell levels. It isn't technically, because the we haven't seen the intermission yet and the sky hasn't changed, but it's, it's very hell-themed. Anyway, this is our first look of the whole game at a spider mastermind. What is that? A cyber demon. Hey. Can you solve the puzzle? Is it make them fight? It is. It's very good. How do you do that? Um, you kind of get the attention of the spider mastermind and get it to shoot at you when the cyber demon is between you. But don't shoot it, just like shoot a wall or something to get their attention. If you hurt them, then they won't want to fight each other. Really? Yeah, you can just punch, that gets their attention. Yeah, so now you have to go up the stairs and... Oh yeah, there you go. And now you can just kind of watch. Wow, nice boss fight. Anyway, yeah, this map is so weird, and it's not named like a place, it's just named Gotcha, with an exclamation point. 
basically just because of this bit. This is so goofy. It's kind of fun to guess who will who will win, because the spider mastermind has less health, but because it has a chain gun, it can interrupt the cyber demon's attacks more. Oh. Oh fuck. I mean, you can aim the ball at him, too. Yeah, but I'll probably miss. Nice. Um, is that everything? And then, and then some stuff. And then the rest of the map is not as good. You are not doing that. Get out of here. Alright. I've seen enough of this map for now. Alright. Um, cool. I guess we'll go hang out then. Yeah. Without the entire internet. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Cool. Um, we'll finish this up some other time, I guess. Party's over. <laughs> Please get out of my house. Oh, that's very rude. All right. Well, they're going to click a button. Bye. Bye.